What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashtore Hub. It's about 7.43 a.m. March 31st, 2018. And we are coming to you with a brand new trading video on Bitcoin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still have a cold. Yes. <laughs> but if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell because we got lots of crypto TA here. Um, especially because um, we really are trying to meet our goal of 5,000. I think we're like... Um, 4,900 right now, um, somewhere around that, and I'd love to make that goal of 5,000 today. So if you're new to us, please hit that subscribe button, uh, whether you're watching us on YouTube or DTube or Steam it, please hit that subscribe button. And if you could also, if you could also like the video, we would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And for those who already subscribed, please, uh, like the video. Um, it's, it's definitely been helping us, uh, quite a bit. And if you can continue, continue that up, that would be great. So, uh, yeah, go down there. <laughs> you see that little thumbs up thing? Hit it. And if you're never hitting that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you only need to do it once. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't get spammed or anything else like that. Um, but it definitely helps us. <clears throat> So I can at least brag uh, to my wife and say, oh, look how many more subscribers I have. Isn't it a great thing that I'm doing? Yeah. Uh, it's okay to be away from the family a little bit and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and make some of these videos. It's making people happy. <laughs> um, we don't get any money out of it. I don't get paid anything from YouTube. Uh, our channel is not, is not monetized or anything else like that. But... Uh, Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. We had a little visitor. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, enough with that. We will, uh, let's get right into the technical analysis here. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me if I keep on clearing my throat, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just, just one of those things, guys. Um, all right. So, like we had said, we were expecting uh, that this was uh, uh, this wave was ending, and that we were going to get some sort of correction right around right around this point, and that's that's exactly what happened. I think that was our video. Um, we did not make a video yesterday, uh, but I made a video the day before. I think it was the evening uh, video. I think I made two videos that day, and that's when we said that. Um, and I think the market was right around uh, was right around here, or. Maybe, no, we were expecting a fifth way, uh, leg down. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember exactly that we were <clears throat> waiting for a fifth wave down. And that we were waiting uh, then for the, for uh, it to, to correct um, to back to the upside, um, which we did say in one of those videos. So it did exactly, uh, exactly that. And um, it's an, more of an extended correction here, right? So... Um, what do we think this may be, right? Uh, from an Elliott wave perspective, uh, on an Elliott wave, wave perspective, remember we've been talking about this WXY for some time, which um, uh, yeah, WXY, which is basically you know two double uh, you know double zigzags, right? So <clears throat> what does that mean? So we have five waves coming down. We have an ABC. We have five waves coming down. This is the larger ABC, and we have five waves coming down. And then we're maybe going to have an ABC and then another five waves down. And we've been saying this for, for, for a long time that it would be either a WXY or a WXYXZ. Um, and uh, right now we're counting this as a WXY. And so, yeah, don't don't be, you know, I'm not trying to spread FUD or anything else like that. But yes, there is a good chance that we could have another five waves down. Um, right now on a one hour basis, we are getting a little bit more bullish. But if we just compare, let's say, for example, let's come, let's compare real quick, right? So we're saying that this is an A, a B, and a C, right? That's one way to count it, where the, where the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 starts getting counted from here. There's another way to do it where this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave gets started counting from here, okay? But I like this one better. I like this one better because the ABC looks better uh, if I start counting here than if I start counting here, okay? Um, and you could see here, I, I um, for the for the ABC, I counted the five waves up, then be three waves up, and then be five waves up, like a five three five. So, <clears throat> um, 
it's not pretty, but nothing really has been too pretty when Elliot, from Elliot Wave perspective ever since like here, right? So we kind of have to continue that that's going to keep on going on in that fashion until it's till it doesn't go on in that fashion. Um, I'm sorry if you hear my wheezing, but um, just what it is right now with this cold. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> yeah, so what we're expecting is, you know, this was five waves down um, and we were going to thinking we we're going to have an ABC correction, but let's go ahead and try to compare it with a like size correction or what should be a like size correction, right? So remember we have this five ways down and this, this correction here is supposed to be smaller in magnitude than this correction here according to Elliott Wave Theory. And it kind of is, right? It kind of is. So we would expect something similar happening here, right? And you can see um, it's kind of a similar pattern, right? We had a big, sh we had a shoot up, we came back down, and then we went back up again, right, to, to make the A. <clears throat> and a similar thing here. We shot back up, we came back down, we went back up again. And so we are expecting the same thing to happen here too. Um, not only from this kind of fractal analysis, you know, combined with Elliott Wave Theory analysis, but also from some of the wave studies that we do, <clears throat> which is part of the underpinning of our, uh, 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 of our technical analysis. Um, not underpinning, but it, it it goes in it goes into it as well as the GAN theory and and Livermore et cetera et cetera. So there's a lots of different um, uh, legs of, of uh, or, or spokes of our um, of our technical analysis. So um, <coughs> excuse me. So <clears throat> um, yeah. So what we're expecting on a on a one hour basis that we're going to get a little a little bit more bullish here. Maybe we're going to exceed the tops right here. And that may make our A, and then we may come back down again. And another thing that's showing me this too is um, if I look at the RSI, right? The RSI is making this kind of like channel, or you know, or like ascending wedge, which obviously is a bearish, a bearish signal. And uh, you know, can you almost count Elliott waves um, inside here. You know, you get an A, B, C, D, E, and then and then, and then back down. You know, that's that's one way to go about counting this thing. Um, you know, there's another way you could count it as an A, B, a C, a D, and that, the fact that we already, we already made an E and it's supposed to shoot off, but, um, you know, a, a shoot up higher. That's one way to do it too. Um, um, I don't particularly like that, uh, that count of it, but hey, you never know. Another thing I want to go ahead and take a look at is unbalanced volume. Unbalanced volume on a one hour basis, um, started turning literally from this bottom right here. This bottom, not this bottom, right? Interesting to see, okay? <clears throat> and remember when I always say, you need, you know, take your indicators and have them paint you a picture uh, in combination with everything else. And so you see most of the volume happened right here, right? Most of the volume happened right here. So you would think on balance volume would have turned right here, but it didn't. It turned here, all right? So... Um, you know, another thing just to, you know, to, 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 to take a look at. So, um, let's go ahead and let me just look at my note real quick here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at, um, the death cross <laughs> An update on the dead death cross. Okay. So according to the death cross, as it's, as it's measured right now. Now, as far as I'm, I'm measuring a 200 moving average, 55 EMA, there are different ways about going. It's usually traditionally 200 moving average and a 55, um, excuse me, and a 50 moving average. But that's what I'm looking at. This is what I'm looking at right now. Um, <clears throat> is it happened yesterday on yesterday's close of, of the daily chart? Now, we're still here, guys. You know, we're still, you know, you know, uh, we're still kicking. Um, I you know the sky hasn't fallen. Um, yeah, I mean, does it say does it does it say great things? You know, for the future of Bitcoin right now, for the for the very near future, no, not necessarily. But it doesn't mean that you know we couldn't shoot back up again, okay? And then this just be kind of a blip in history. You know that that does happen. That happens on the uh, on the on the um, traditional markets quite a bit. So um, yeah, it's definitely something to keep an eye out. For, but not something that we need to really um, <clears throat> that we really need to um, you know worry about. 
So one thing I wanna, I, I do wanna, um, I do want to, uh, to to bring up again is let's see what happens with our our friend, our friend uh, Gan, because um, I did bring it up the other day, and it seems like a lot of people liked it. So um, let's go ahead and bring it up again. So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? As far as Gan is concerned, okay. Approximately here, <clears throat> and um, come on, and you know, will we have enough juice? Right? Remember the ABC that we had here, right? The ABC that we had here. Um, you know, basically the market has fallen off so hard, right? It was it was hitting this one four line, right? In the beginning, it was hitting this one four line, right? And then it was also correcting back up to the one three line, right? And then <clears throat> here, it then basically went from this one four line, right? It went back up to the one three line, you know, went back down, you know, to the one two line, and then went back up to the one one line, right? So we don't have that same that same uh, uh, you know angle of of fall off here. But maybe for this ABC, um, you know, maybe we're able to make it back up to this two one line, possibly. You know, that would be that would be uh, somewhat on the magnitude of what's going on here. So something I'm, I'm obviously just keeping an, an eye out for. We are uh, a little ways away from it, but still something to keep an eye out for. Right now we're stuck on the 55 um, EMA. And we're also stuck on uh, the, the red trend line, right? So <clears throat> market fell off, it pierced back above it. Um, and you could see it even, this is on one hour basis. Let's just zoom in like really hard on this thing. And you can see it fell off, it went back above it, tested it again, right? Went back up, up above it, wasn't enough. Came back down, tested it, came back down spring back up on much smaller volume right and now it's getting it's getting the hand uh you know the uh it's getting the uh Dikembe Mutombo uh, uh, if you're into basketball years ago um you know uh the 55 EMA is 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 doing that to the market you know it's basically rejecting the market right now so now not only does the market need to get through this red line this red trend line but it also needs to get through the 55 EMA right so also, this channel right here. So <clears throat> we need to keep an eye on on, on on all of that. So let's update the uh, support and resistance lines, and so let's start with the daily the daily one first. So the daily resistance line we are turning this to um, from eight thousand nine hundred and seven. We're literally reducing it about a thousand points, right? To seven thousand nine hundred and forty one. Okay, and it's not a, it's, it's, you know, when I reduce these things, it's, it's a good thing, okay, um, because part of, of reducing, uh, these, these lines is also, um, well, I have to make, I have to make a video specifically on this, but basically <clears throat> it starts, uh, asymptotically. If if you guys remember your days from 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 mathematics, uh, approaching the market, okay, um, that's part of the basis of these uh, resistance and support lines, okay. So the one hour line, okay, when, where I'm going to skip skip the four hour line for a second here, but the one hour line uh, turns from um, a a a uh, resistance level to a support level. Now we hadn't made a video on this, but uh, before I show this, the video, the, the the resistance level was actually six thousand nine hundred and sixty-four, which was right about here. Um, uh, what I what I would have ca calculated it. So six thousand nine hundred and sixty-four um, sits right right about here. Okay, right about here. And so you could see that the market, you know, would would have come up above it and came back came back down below it, and then it's basically you know, going through it right now. Okay. So, but I want to, I'm going to, I'm not going to update the, um, resistance line. I'm going to update these, what, what a support line 
would be because um, I, I do think we're going to run up a little bit more here uh, before we then correct back down. So, you know, when I say more, I don't mean like a day. I mean like maybe a few more bars, maybe. Um, I, maybe we have a few more bars that it's going to um, have enough power to go ahead and get through the 55 EMA. So, um, okay, so one hour uh, support is 6,824. 6,824. 6,824. Okay, so this is something we want to be able to keep um, in order for the market to continue kind of its way up. <clears throat> four hour. We didn't do the four hour yet. So four hour resistance is 7,410. And this is going to be... I think I just stumbled across a new feature, guys. I'm so psyched. Anything to shave off nanoseconds. So I think if I double click on it, it, re it removes the or hides the uh, these indicators. Let's try it. Oh my god. Would you look at that? I can sit here for days playing with this. Days! <laughs> Alright, awesome. So, <coughs> excuse me. 4,000, uh, excuse me, 4 hour resistance level of 7,410. So again, this is something that maybe, maybe, if we get our, remember, our A, a B, our C, you know, maybe, you know, we have, if we get our A, right, maybe it comes up to the four hour resistance line, we get a B, right, it comes down to the one hour, right, and then we get a C. But the good chance if, they, if we get all the way up to the four hour resistance line, this one hour support line is going to get redrawn anyway. So, <clears throat> anyways, I think that's really about it. Um... For right now, I'm just kind of quickly skimming over my uh, my notes. Yes. So, yes, uh, uh, for the bearish outlook, yes, we're thinking possibly another five ways down after we get an ABC. So don't get too caught up, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a bullish scenario. Remember, we do have our triple B, our big balls buy. And um, uh, on a four-hour basis. <clears throat> and we don't look like we're there just yet. So, um, I, you know, I'm waiting uh, for uh, many things, but one of the things is possibly this ABC kind of playing itself out, right? Because I think on, on a bearish scenario, we may have another five waves down. Now, in a bullish scenario, this whole thing is over. We over. So, in a bullish scenario, we're over, and obviously, we're going up, right? So, but I don't really see that right now. This looks very... Very, 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 very corrective, um, and I'm sorry for the people that watch us on a on cell phones. I'm probably you probably need drama. Mean watching the videos as I as I swing this thing around. Um, I think it's a nervous twitch, but anyway, <clears throat> um, the uh, this is not looking very impulsive. This is not looking like a motive wave. This is looking like some sort of correction. All right, you can almost look at this as a um, you know some sort of a diagonal. Right, you know, we had you know kind of a peak above, right? You can almost look at this some sort of a diagonal. I don't know. You tell me, right? So A, B, C, D, E, and then we come back down. That could be that could be an option, guys. Could be an option. Um. Anyways, so let's leave it for there for right now. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and wonderful holidays um and uh yeah that's about it speak to you soon